Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. Welcome to another help desk ticketing system tutorial. In this case, we're dealing with audio issues. It has a very specific error and I'm very excited to talk about it. Before we do that, please take one moment to like or subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it. Also consider joining this channel as a member. It's only $1.99 a month. The reason I'm saying that is because in the future I plan to release an additional video for members only. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider that option as well. All right, guys, let's get into it. This is a Jira ticketing system. And if you're brand new to Help Desk and want to know how to use Jira ticketing system, please go to my channel, youtube.com forward slash Koboman, and in the search box, type in ticketing system. What you see there will be a lot of different tutorials using this exact same ticketing system and also on how to use the ticketing system itself, meaning how to navigate, how to note, how to talk to the customers and all that. All right, let's get into this ticket. It says here, my audio randomly stops working. And in the description, it says, recently, after a computer update, my sound randomly stops working. So there was an update, and then suddenly now he has a randomly stopping audio. So he was just randomly stopped working. It says here, rebooting the PC will fix it, but will stop randomly. So and then it says see error attached let's look at this error real quick it says audio render error please restart your computer now this is an error that comes up on youtube videos so the the reason you get this error typically is because of driver issues and that is also hinted by the fact that the computer received an update so every time you see this type of error it says audio render error that means that the player on YouTube uh, failed to render audio, meaning it failed to use the driver to render the audio. So that's the best way to kind of think about it. Every time you see audio render issues, it has to do something with not able to initiate the driver or the device itself. And in this case, it's most likely just a driver issue. All right. So First thing first, let's make sure we assign the ticket to ourselves before we do any action. But for this, we want to actually reply to the customer and say, hello, when would, see, it depends on the situation here on how the business is set up, but you can also say, when would be a good time to, when would be a good time to uh, take a look at this issue? Uh, you know, it depends on who this person is. Uh, this guy's name is Mike Moser, and we don't know. Mike might be a manager of some sort, or it could be just a regular user, or he could be a director. We don't know. We just want to make sure and kind of get an idea of who he is before we actually just say, I'm going to take control of your computer, and we're going to fix it now. You know, we can't stop this guy from working, especially if he's a director level. Can you imagine that? Uh, you know, we got to work on his time and whenever he's uh, available, you know. So that type of thing usually would happen with tier two help desk and higher, but tier one, not necessarily so much, you know. All right. So it wouldn't be a good time to take a look at this issue. And uh, of course, I'm only saying hello here because Mike Moser already knows me. So I'm just saying, you know, he already knows me. I don't have to introduce myself. Otherwise, I would say my name is Irvin with PC support, you know. So whenever he responds, we're going to actually take a look at his computer. Now, if there is, of course, if there's a number to call, we would call him and talk to him and ask them, you know, can we take control of it? Can I take control of your computer so that way we can take a look? Um, also, another thing you want to ask him is actually to make sure that you have his computer name so that way you can get the, um, um, so you can control, take control of his computer. But also, if it's set up differently, uh, once you get his computer name, you can get his IP address. And with an IP address, you can also take control um, of his computer. And then at some point, you just want to make sure you get this information so that way you can do your job basically and let's assume he said okay i'm ready now you can say great uh what is the name of your computer or your ip address so that way we can 
take control of his computer. Now, you know, if you're talking to him, you know, this is the best way to just to talk to him. I mean, it just depends how you're communicating. In the end, you want to be able to take control of his computer. I mean, there are different ways of taking control of a computer. You can use a remote desktop software, like, for example, Dameware or some other ones. Uh, but uh, you can also, and nowadays, you can take control, you know, just using WebEx or using, I don't know, what's some of the other meeting uh, tools that people use nowadays. Any of those meeting tools, even just the chat applications will have some kind of an option of sharing screen and also requesting to take control of their computer. All right, so once we take control of his computer, we're going to uh, pretend like this is his computer and then we're going to go to our sound setting. That's the first thing we're going to look at and we're going to see what shows up there. Here's the thing though, when there are driver issues, uh, the things will look normal because when there are driver issues like that, and it's specific to this error here, audio render, please restart your computer. Although most people will be watching this video and say, well, that's my issue. You know, YouTube is giving me this error. However, the thing is though, this is so, there are so many computers out there and this issue, the fix for this issue will be specific to your computer. However, you might want to watch this whole thing to get, at least get an idea where to look and maybe try some of the things that I'm about to show you because there are many different solutions for this. However, in my case, I will go to, uh, I will tell you what the solution was for this gentleman in real life. I actually, this actually happened uh, at my job. It's just that I'm, of course, it's a different person, but I will tell you exactly what happened in my situation. Okay, so the things look normal, you know, whenever there are driver issues in this case, because it happens randomly. Remember, this person reboots and everything goes back to normal. So we have here just a Plantronics headset input for microphone and everything looks fine. And of course, we got Realtek high definition audio, which is normal. You know, this is something you would normally see. There are no other inputs uh, because he's got the headset. And you can see here that there is real tech, just regular speakers, you know. Um, the issue I actually worked on was specific to HP laptops. So it was a HP 840 uh, G3, I believe. And the thing is, though, it actually had a different uh, type of audio, the onboard audio. Typical onboard audio is real tech, high definition audio. This person had, uh, I think it was called Connexent, Connexent, I S S T something like that and uh it was showing up like so instead of real tech it had that connexent ISSD, which is very unusual i most of the time 99 percent of the time i see real tech whether it's high-end computer or not but in this case hp decided to have that type of uh, thing so everything looks normal but yet the issue happens you know the person swears up and down that the issue is happening and sure enough there is an error so we know that there is an issue and again we are suspecting audio issues so for that we're going to go to our device manager so there are a couple different ways of getting to it you can go through the manage part of the computer but what i usually do i just right click this icon pc and just go to device manager but then again, you can go through the computer management and get to the device manager as well. Okay, so from here, we're going to look audio inputs and outputs. The first thing that shows up here, here's our Plantronics um, USB uh, headset that we've plugged in. We can tell that it's a microphone and that it also has a speaker. So this is the, you know, this is the headset itself, normal. And then we got that Realtek high definition audio. In his issue, uh, the problem was actually a conflict between the new driver and the other onboard driver that was happening on there. So the reason we the reason it stopped working for him is because an update actually came through. So the way you can roll back an update on a driver is simply to right click on the device itself, go to properties go to driver type which is the second over and then select roll back driver if available and that should revert back to the old one and chances are that in his case instead of saying coaxent it said just regular high definition audio just like the Realtek here so that's one way to roll back the driver if it updated indeed and of course we can see that the what the, the update driver date is 
Um, you can also try to update the driver, which can also fix the issue. So if we click update and click search automatically to you know, search online for drivers, uh, sometimes this fails. Sometimes it fails, but a lot of times we just say you have the correct driver. But if there is one available, it will uh, go out there and look for it and possibly install it. And I don't want to blame this on Microsoft that it stops working or not. It's just it depends. I've seen it fail and I've seen it succeed. So, uh, you know, so what, what can you do after that? I mean, you can go specifically go to a website and look for the driver update for that. So we're just going to go and look for HP 840 G3 drivers. And you can do the same thing, whatever the name of the computer is. And this case, here it is. And once this loads, we're going to look at the available drivers. And of course, we're going to select driver audio here. And here it is, Connexent HD audio driver. And sure enough, looks like the most recent one is September 18th, 2020. And that's fine. We can download this. We can install it, given that you have administrative privileges and that it's allowed within your company. So this is one of those things you have to kind of double make sure so you don't get fired for installing or downloading uh, software and installing on somebody's computer. OK, so that's one step of it. However, with some research and again, it's OK to do some research whenever you're troubleshooting issues, especially if you've never seen this issue. Ch chances are, if you're watching this specific video that you did your research and you can, you know, you did your Google search or YouTube search and this video came up, that's fine. As an IT professional, I like to resolve issues based off the knowledge that I have. Uh, that's the difference between somebody who's experienced and who's not. Um, and I don't mean to sound mean when I say any of this stuff. Here's the thing. I get this sometimes where people just say, oh, anybody can do tech support. You just Google it and then you find an answer, this and that. No. Uh, you know, Googling and finding answers is perfectly fine as a last resort. So I'm only, right now I'm speaking to people who are watching my videos to be help desk guys or tech support guys. Uh, please try to use your knowledge first to uh, resolve issues on your own, given that you have enough time. If you really, really cannot figure it out on your own, it's okay to Google it or look at the knowledge base articles for your company on how to fix specific things. The reason I say that is because you will acro come across issues that you can't fix that are proprietary to the company that you're working for. So what if some kind of application or program stops working or even piece of hardware that's specifically designed for your company? You think you're going to be able to find an answer on Google? Yeah, good luck with that. Again, I'm not trying to sound mean. Uh, there's nothing wrong with searching for an answer. In this case, I actually look for an answer as well myself and actually found that there might be a conflict between uh, that specific uh, coaxent ISST uh, hardware and Intel Display Audio, which runs over HDMI. So since this is not being used at all, but anybody, literally nobody is using Intel R Display Audio, uh, which is basically signal, audio signal from HDMI. This is built in into your computer, typically a laptop. I went ahead and just disabled it just as an, a proactive thing, which could have resolved the issue as well, rather than just updating the driver. Okay, so updating, installing driver could resolve the issue. Uh, but, um, you know, and in this video, and uh, what I'm going to do is actually, you know, fast forward to this point so you guys uh, can see. I'll, I'll put little marks on the bottom of the video so that way can, somebody can just click on the solution. And another thing to consider is I, I've seen issues or resolutions for it as well to be uh, related to the fact that you can possibly update BIOS and this and that. But from my research, uh, what really resolved the issue is either rolling back the drivers on your main audio, whichever that may be, or 
and or disabling this Intel R display audio. So hopefully that helps to those people who are just looking for a specific solution to this error. Otherwise, if you're watching these videos for my tech support part of it, I highly encourage that you uh, watch some of my other videos on how to properly go about resolving any issues, not just something that you can Google to resolve, you know? All right, and then we're going to close the ticket. We're going to say updated audio drivers. By the way, what I did, IRL, for this manager actually fixed the issue. So there is that. Uh, updated audio drivers for users, for user. Ah, you know what, I'm just going to say updated audio drivers and disabled Intel audio device. Okay, we're going to save it. And then we're going to close it complete. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I really appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any more suggestions for different videos, specifically for Help Desk, uh, I know some of you already suggested some specific things uh, like on Citrix and this and that. I, for those videos, I'll definitely have them on a back burner. I haven't forgotten about you or anything like that. It's just that I have to make a lot more time to actually make those type of videos and they are very niche they are very niche right now what's carrying my channel is help desk type of tutorials and ticketing systems you know whether it's you know help desk desktop support system administration anything like that that helps people get jobs you know citrix uh, i'll try to see if i can make it into a a ticket and that would be the best way to go about it because I've seen Citrix issues uh, before. And, and anything that's like that, that is very niche and specific, if you can give me a scenario in which um, the error the error came up, if you can give me a specific error or a specific um, issue that you've resolved, I can even talk about that. It's just, it's really hard to come up with ideas and show them on how they're resolved uh, in, in a way where it's, useful you know what i mean and even this video is is also kind of very specific to this audio error but at least it gives you uh, some some ideas on where to go to update audio drivers and how to go about updating um, of course uh, make sure you reboot the computer and, and you would get a pop-up anyways to reboot the computer uh, at the end of uh, your update the driver update anyways so all right, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.